Okay, you've just passed your A plus and or network plus, and you're thinking, I need, I now need to do my cybersecurity certification, and you're thinking of doing security plus. Now, right now, it's January 2024, and if you're looking to start security plus now, you're pro you have two options. You have the SYO 601 or the SYO 701. The SYO 601 is the older Security Plus exam. And if we look at this, this exam came out in November 2020 versus the SYO recently came out November 7th, 2023. Now, the question is, which one do you take? The short answer is take the 701. Do not take the 601. And in this video, I'm going to elaborate more on why you should be taking the 701 now and not the 601. So let's get started. The first thing is up is that if you plan on taking the 601, maybe because you've been studying for it a while now, just keep on doing that. But if you're brand new to study and don't switch over to the 701, stick with the 601. And the 601 exam is going to be around for a little while. So this is on the CompTIA website. The 601 will retire on July, in July 2024. So if you're studying for the 601, you have time. You have until July 2024 to keep studying for it. Now, why is it that I don't recommend doing the actual uh, 601? Now, I am an instructor. All right, you can find my courses on Udemy. You can find, you can also take live classes with us here at the Technical Institute of America. And I've been teaching Security Plus since it came out. I've taken every version of this exam. I have taken the 601 when it came out, and I took the 701 when it came out. I did a video earlier in the week on that topic. Now, here's the thing. Real realistically, I find the 701 to be an easier test. The 601 had a whole bunch of commands that you needed to know. The 701 doesn't. Now, in this video, I'm going to go through some of those objectives with you. For example, let's take a look. So I've downloaded the exam objective. This is on the CompTIA's website. There's a form you fill out and you can get the exam objectives. So I got the SYO 601 and the 701. So if I look at the 601 and I want to show you guys that if I look into this, in the exam objectives, like 4.1 in the 601 exam, you have to know things like all these great commands. Look, look at all this. All right. This is not in the 701. Nowhere in the 701 does it have any commands. So it's a less of a technical exam. So that, in my opinion, made it easier to study for. Now you don't have to go memorize a bunch of commands on what they do, but they did add more administrative tasks to this. Another good reason, and I have a lot of points that I want to review here with you guys, but I'm just going to cover some of the main ones. One of the main reasons why I'm going to tell you to do the 701 is because it's more updated. It matches the current security environment that we work in in today's world. There's no point in getting a certification if you can't get a job. So if you learn the latest technology and you go for an interview and they ask you questions on that technology, you'll know what they're talking about. Let's say, for example, you studied this current exam, 701, you're going to learn things such as, let's go to the 701, such as email security. And I want to mention something here about email security. Where is this one here? Email security, somewhere in this exam objectives. Here we go, email security. You notice you have things like DMARC, DKIM, SPF. You see, look, if I highlight DMARC, and I want to show you guys something, DMARC, which is a standard security things, that you should know when securing emails. If I go to the 601 and I search for it, it's only mentioned in the acronym list. It's not mentioned in the exam objectives. That means it's probably not covered in any of your study guides any which way. If you're securing email today and you don't enable DMARC, DKIM, and SPF, your, your emails will probably not arrive to Gmails. Believe me, I had this problem. So, you want to learn the latest and greatest technology. So when you go for a job, you're more updated. You have more current knowledge. So that's one of the main things I'm going to tell you guys to please do the 701. So you learn the latest technology, the latest things you need to know to find a job and be good at your security job. So that's the main reason I'm going to tell you guys to do it. The other reason I'm going to tell you guys to do it is that there's tons of materials for 701. Generally, when an exam comes out, it takes a while for most providers to update practice exams and courses. 
But the moment the 701 came out, a lot of providers updated their courseware right away. It's odd because a lot of them updated the courseware without taking the test. I've also updated my courseware. On my Udemy, I just released the 701 course. Now, the reason why mine took a little bit longer than everybody else is because I waited for the exam to come out. Then I actually took the real test. Like I actually sat, take the exam, see what's on the test, and then base my courseware on the test that I just took. So if you guys are interested in learning more about my course, check the links below. My course is available on the Udemy platform. It's also, I also teach a live class with it. You can check the links below. And for this particular one, by the way, I did a bunch of practice, an amazing set of practice exams I made that covers every single one of these exam objectives. Here's a 701. And what I did is I went through every single one of these exam objectives and I made questions covering every single one of them. So you're going to be tested on them. Uh, all, you're going to be tested on these exam objectives. So when you take the real test, you'll be able to pass. I've also written a study guide that I wanted to give away for free, but I put it on Kindle thinking that it was, I could have given it away for free, but the cheapest there was, the, the cheapest they're going to allow it is not free. They're going to allow it only for 99 cents. If you're looking for a quick study guide, something to just cram a few days before you take the test, it's not a full length course. It just reviews the exam objective, reviews the acronym. It's only 99 cents and it's on the Kindle. The link is in the description below. By the way, we're going to be doing a lot of free giveaways in the coming months. Lots of free giveaways. We're going to be giving away all of our CompTIA products in the coming months. So please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. And I'll see you in the next video.